You good to go? Yep. All right, here we go. It's not seven o'clock yet. It's not seven? No. I got seven o'clock on the on the uh, computer here. Six fifty nine. Six. I got six fifty nine. But who's going to argue with the chair? <laughs> well, actually, you got to call this. I do. Yes, I do. Here, I've got to call it to order. Oh, okay. I'm not messing with the rest of the round. We're getting serious about this. It's still 6.59, sorry. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the January 26, 2021 annual reorganization meeting for the Lower Paxton Township Authority. The first item on the agenda this evening is the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by Mr. Blaine. All right, please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Blaine. Thank you, Mr. Stein. The next item on the agenda is election of the chairman of the authority board. Uh, is there anyone that wants to uh, make a nomination? Yes, Mr. Solicitor, I would like to nominate David Blaine as the chairman of the Lower Paxton Township Authority Board. Is there a second to that motion? A second. Uh, are there any further um, nominations? Seeing no response, all those in favor of electing Mr. Blaine as the chairman of the Authority Board, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried, congratulations, Mr. Blaine. Mr. Stein, thank you very much. Um, before we get started, I will say I'd like to say thank you to the uh, members of the Municipal Authority for uh, giving me another opportunity as chairman. Um, I don't take this job lightly. I take it seriously. I very, very much appreciate it. I appreciate working with everybody here. I appreciate working with staff. And um, let's, go, let's, have a, let's have a good year. Let's make it happen. All right, uh, next item of business is going to be election of vice chairman of the board. Uh, the chair will hear a nomination from any from board members. Mr. Chairman, I nominate uh, Robin Lindsay to the Lower Paxton Township Authority Board in the position of vice chair. Mr. Navarro, thank you very much. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Oaks. Any further discussion? Any uh, other nominations? Any other nominations? All right, hearing none, I think we can do this by voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Congratulations, Ms. Lindsay. Election of the secretary of the board. Uh, the chair will hear nominations. Mr. Chairman, I would like to put the name and nomination of Chris Judd for secretary of the authority board. Thank you, Ms. Lindsay. Is uh, there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Navarro. Any further nominations? Any further nominations? Uh, hearing none, I think we can close nominations and go right to a vote. Um, so we can do this by voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carry, Mr. Judd. Uh, congratulations, Secretary. All right, uh, election of the authority treasurer. Uh, the chair will hear nominations for the authority treasurer. Mr. Chairman, I nominate Norm Zumas to be the treasurer of the Lower Paxton Township Authority Board. Mr. Navarro, you're hot tonight. You got a lot going on. We got a, we got a motion on the floor by Mr. Navarro. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Ramsey, thank you very much. Any further discussion or other nominations? Any other nominations? All right, nominations are closed. I think we can do this by voice vote as well. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried, Mr. Zumas, congratulations as, a, as authority treasurer. A lot of money to handle there. Can you handle it? I, I can do it. I know you can. <laughs> All right. Election of the Assistant Secretary. For, uh, Chair will hear nominations. Mr. Chairman, I would like to put the name and nomination of David Ramsey for the Assistant Secretary of the Authority Board. Thank you, Ms. Lindsay. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Zumas. Any further nominations at this point? All right, hearing none, I think we can uh, do a voice vote here as well. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Mr. Ramsey, congratulations. Thank you. Next item of business will be appointment of the authority solicitor. Uh, the chair would like to make a motion to appoint the law office of Stephen A. Stein as the authority solicitor. 
Second that. Second by Mr. Judd. Any further discussions? Okay, I think we did have a voice vote as well. All those in favor for Mr. Stein as authority solicitor signify with saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Final item <coughs> will be appointment of the authority stormwater engineer. Well, actually, it's more than just a storm. It's more than it's just a stormwater engineer, correct? It would be the sanitary sewer engineer. Would that be correct, Mr. Uh, Mr. Yes, uh, board members. We have two engineers now. We have a stormwater engineer, which is first. Well, that would be uh, currently yes. HRG. I have that backwards on. I apologize on the appointments. So the first on the agenda is the stormwater engineer, currently HRG, and then the sewer, which is GHD. Apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the chair would like to uh, make a motion that we appoint. GHD Engineering Services as the Authority Sanitary Sewer Engineer and HRG as the Authority Stormwater Engineer. Any further discussions? Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Judd. We can do this by voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carry. Congratulations to HRG and GHD. All right, moving on down the list of establishment of the regular meeting schedule for the board meetings. So I believe the meeting schedule for our authority board meetings will be the fourth Tuesday of each month of 2021 here at the Lower Paxton Township Municipal Center at 7 p.m. That will be a little bit of a change from what we've done in the past, which would be quarterly meetings. We are now moving to monthly meetings. So that is the announcement for the establishment of regular meetings. Business meeting for the general authority, I guess we can go right into. Is that correct there, Mr. Uh, Weaver? We don't need a motion, Steve, to establish the regular meeting no. schedule. No. I believe so. We are ready. Okay. All right. First item of business will be chairman and board member comments. Any of... Uh, Board member comments at this time. Man, this is going to be a quick meeting if we keep going this route. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go to public comment. Is there any public comment? Would be anything that is not on the authority agenda for this evening? Seeing that there is no public in the audience, we'll move right to the stormwater fund. Turn it over to Mr. Weaver. We're going to talk first about resolution 210101 through 210105 authorizing condemnation of stormwater easements in the BC5B project area. Hey, is there any way we can throw any more acronyms in there? Yeah, we could try. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Do you have for you tonight resolutions 2101-01, 21-0105, authorization and condemnation of five storm sewer easements in the BC5 project area. Of course, the board has seen these resolutions many times. Uh, this one was delayed. This project is actually started. However, HRG was uh, behind because this project was designed for sewer years ago. And then when we created the stormwater fee, it actually had funding. They had to giddy up and get these designs done. So there were five loose end uh, easements uh, that we hadn't TV'd the sewer yet. So we've TV'd the storm sewer, correct, Tim? And these, these are to be lined, I believe. So. Uh, Jack Hildebrand from HRG has uh, prepared the easement plats. Steve has prepared the right-of-way agreements. Uh, we are going to attempt to get the easement signed, but they have been transmitted and they haven't responded. I'm going to uh, reach out to these five residents one more time. Well, one of them is a homeowners association, but uh, I'm going to do one last reach out. But uh, because time is of the essence uh, in standard form, we, we do ask the board at least authorize us in the event that we cannot agree on the terms that Steve can proceed. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any further questions for Mr. Weaver? All right, it seems uh, pretty academic. Uh, the chair will entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion. We adopt resolution 21-01-01 through 21 -0105 authorizing condemnation of storm sewer easements in the BC5B project area. Ms. Lindsay, thank you. Is there a second to Ms. Lindsay's motion? Second. We got multiple seconds. I'm going to go with you, Mr. Ramsey. 
Well, thank you. You good with that? All right, there we go. Sorry, Mr. Zumas. He, he, he got in a little early on you. What happens when you sit up there? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any further discussion? Hearing none, I think we do a voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. All right, Township Reports, Stormwater Fund. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have four items that I'll briefly discuss. Uh, DEP MS4 permit and joint PRP projects uh, are, are still uh, in progress, but we have made significant progress. As the board is aware, we do have a contract um, that PennDOT is doing for us to buy pounds through our municipal partners group. And we also have a joint PRP project for Stonebridge. So what I'd like to do, one of the nice things that staff likes with having the monthly meetings as well is uh, it'll give us more opportunity because I know the board, especially Mr. Judd, I know you like to see uh, the stormwater projects. What we've never done with the board is spent the time and effort to show you exactly what is going on because I think you'll be impressed. Uh, the Stonebridge project is 85, 90% complete by HRG. They've submitted the permit application. It involves several pedestrian bridges. So make a long story short, either in the February or March meeting, uh, HRG will be here and they'll show a board, uh, the board members uh, this project that we'll be bidding here in a few months when we receive the permit. And at that time as well, we'll be able to have HRG explain a little bit more about what's involved with this MS4 permit and what they do throughout the year and what their activities that they're working on right now. Any questions on MS4? The BC2 project, the uh, storm sewer, as the board is aware, is now bid with the sanitary sewer, and that project is progressing. Uh, actually, I have asked Tim, because he does such a fine job with it, that uh, even though it's an HRG function, that when he does his contract status reports, Tim has been doing a, a lot of coordination with HRG as well, now that the authority owns the stormwater system. So you'll be seeing reports from Tim starting next meeting on contract status uh, for that contract. For 2020, Lower Paxton Drainage Improvements contract, uh, the township just awarded a contract to Magmore uh, for a stormwater project that's relatively small. Uh, they had a pre-construction meeting and they intend to get started here in March or April on that uh, project. Any questions on those projects? Nope. And then finally, uh, the BC7 uh, project, as the board again is aware, when we do the sanitary sewer mini basement projects as part of our sanitary sewer consent decree, we are now doing stormwater replacements uh, because we are paving the road and the stormwater system has not been addressed for a very long time. So HRG has uh, completed, similar to GHD, on the same schedule. So we have GHD designing the sewer, we have HRG designing the stormwater, and Tim has been coordinating those activities, and Tim just had a meeting with both parties and 60% design complete, right, Tim? Yeah. So they're moving along at the same pace. That project has to be bid by the end of the year to allow two years of construction for 2022 and 2023. By our consent decree, the sewer portion has to be done by the end of 23. So we'll be giving you more updates on that as the project progresses. And that concludes my reports for stormwater. Any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. That's a solid effort. You ready to, you, you, can you handle the sanitary sewer fund? You gonna be okay? I'm, I'm, you put a lot of effort I'm into good. that first one. Yeah, sanitary sewer is a little bit more up my lane. <laughs> All right, let's move to the sanitary sewer fund. Uh, we're gonna go into uh, new business. One of my favorite items is always resolutions on document destruction. So resolution 2102 is destruction <laughs> of specific docu documents and records. Is there anything you'd like to add there, Mr. Weaver. Uh, board members, that, that Mr. Chairman has, uh, Blaine has pretty much summed it up. That they don't really have much to add other than the exhibit does just include two items, time cards and one call notices. So the garage uh, has separate documents that are disposed of. Uh, in the future, we're going to coordinate these with the office efforts. And Mr. Blaine, I'm happy to report, recommended that we use laser fish we do have that up and running and going forward these we'll still be doing these dispositions but it'll be electronic records and not paper nice M mr weaver i do have a question though um, yes is it is it just because it's 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 um 
municipal law uh, that we, or is it just because this is the way we have historically done things, that we um, adopt the that we um, that you bring to us like the specific records to be destroyed versus saying we will destroy payroll documents after seven years, we will destroy certain other documents after 10 years and have that as a set policy that's on file that we follow. That's a very interesting question that has never been proposed. Uh, we, do, we do have a policy that we adopted for the authority. Uh, when I started here 25 years ago, we had adopted what the township did, which is the municipal records. This, the authority saying, yes, we're going to dispose of records in accordance with that law because it's Yeah, I was going to say, there's a, there's a municipal records law, but why, why couldn't we not just say we follow the municipal records law, we destroy documents on the, we destroy documents on the dates and years that they become available to be destroyed mm -hmm. based upon following the law, and that way you don't have to all the time Is that a say, good answer or a bad um, answer, Steve? Well, here's what happens. The act requires you to do exactly what, what Mr. Weaver did, mm -hmm. which is you have to identify each box and what records are in there from okay. what from what year to what year. And then it has to come before the board for approval. So let me ask you this question, then, Mr. Stein. If we go to electronic documents, um, you know, once it's, ele once it's electronic and imaged, it, it, it really technically is, is there forever. Right. Do we, do, you, do we now have a situation where we don't have to go about destroying records, or do we still have to go about destroying records after a certain period of time? Um, I, I don't think you actually, if they're electronic, I don't think you have to destroy them. I think if they were, it was just the paper records that were that were subject to that, but I haven't really looked at that recently because for a long time, electronic records weren't really kept on a on a, a widespread basis. Right. That's that's uh, also a good point, Mr. Chairman. So they did update their records law, and it does provide for criteria that we have to follow for storing electronic records. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't ever re remember reading anything about destroying it. You're right, because in theory, it's in the cloud, as they say, and as long as you pay for the space. Now, if we want, if, if the costs get too high down the road, then we may want to look at that. But I think right now um, that, you know, for the next, at least in the immediate future, next five to ten years, that won't be an issue. I guess ultimately there is a cost for storing even electronic records. Yes, yeah, laser absolutely. fish. I did ask that question, so. So you probably um, do want to purge them. Yeah, we have so many gigabytes to start, and I asked her, "Is it better to buy the stuff up front? Because sometimes they give you a discount up front when we bought it." And she said, "It doesn't matter if you buy it up front or later." So she just told me that what we bought is typical for the size uh, of our authority, and that that should last us for a while. Okay. All right. Thank you very much there, Mr. Weaver. Is there any other questions for Mr. Weaver about destruction of documents? Okay, hearing none, the chair will entertain a motion to approve resolution 2102. So moved. Thank you, Mr. Judd. Second. Thank you, Mr. Zumas. It's awesome. Moving right along. Any further discussion? We had more discussion on destruction of documents than we had on anything else. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we'll go by voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. All right. Dedication of developer installed sewers. Mindy Meadows, phase two. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, another exciting agenda item. The sewer, once it's complete, has passed all the required specification testing, has provided all the legal documents to GHD, and GHD and Steve Stein sign off on those documents. Uh, and the developer signs off. We prepare the uh, documents for approval by the board. You have before you the mini minutes phase two sewer system dedication, which will then become part of the sewer system of the authority. GHD's also here, and Melissa can ask or answer any questions as well. But I'll, staff and GHD will be happy to answer any questions you have. Any questions for the township engineer, GHD? Seems pretty uh, standard. All right, hearing no questions, is there a motion to approve the dedication of the developer installed sewers and mini meadows phase two? Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the dedication of the developer installed sewers for mini meadows phase two. Thank you, Mr. Zumas. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Navarro. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, we'll do this by voice vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Thank you. All right, down to township reports. Mr. Weaver. Mr. Knoll, yeah. okay, you're going to get on the township. Okay, here we go. Brief. Um, okay. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, you have my report in your packet. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of activity since my last report, so I think probably the easiest thing is just to answer any questions that anyone might have tonight. Any questions from any board members regarding any of the items uh, identified here? All right, hearing none, that was easy enough. Let's go right to the engineer's report for the sanitary sewer fund. Any questions for GHD regarding the engineer's report? <laughs> Mr. Whittle, come on up, Mr. Whittle. Take, take, have, have, some, have some mic time. I, I did just want to thank the board for um, you know, reappointing us this year. It's a real pleasure to work with everyone here. So um, you know, Melissa's hopefully good, taking great care of you, but um, just to let you know, if she's never available, you can call myself or, uh, you know, any number of the people on the on the staff. So I think we sent out the, the updated list as well to staff here. If anyone has any questions about that, we can answer those as well. Auden, as well. we know how to get a hold of you. As an report. Thank you. Auden, we know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, any questions on the engineer's report? Man, this is fast. I like it. All right. So we're at we're at the best part of the meeting, which is adjournment. Just <laughs> <laughs> so kidding with you. I just um, had a question, David. Yes. Yeah, yes, I should have you. asked this under HRG. Um, can we get Jason on the phone? I had a question because um, it's different from last year. Last year we just had a certain retainer fee. This year it's a thousand dollars, and then it's three twenty-five per meeting. So my question is: Does anybody know what the retainer fee was last year? And um, this year, the 325, if we don't have a meeting, um, are we still going to be paying that 325 per month? Mr. Weaver, can we get Jason on the phone? We were doing that. Right I'm okay. sorry, I should have asked that no, when that's we, okay. when we no, approved hey, HRG. We got plenty of time. So. You're going to be on the meeting with the board. Uh, Mrs. Lindsay has a question on the retainer and the monthly yep. meetings. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually watching, so I, I heard the question. <laughs> <laughs> watching from home. So, um, yeah, to answer your question, um, Ms. Lindsay, the, uh, the retainer from last year was $2,000 uh, annually, and that was broken down into uh, quarterly fees, which the $1,000 uh, reduction will be the same, built the same way this year. Uh, and you will not be charged a, a, a meeting fee if uh, we aren't in attendance. Great, thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Hines while we have them? Go back to your popcorn and beer. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your popcorn and beer. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jason. All right, thanks. Uh, bye. Okay. All right. And, and that was at the request of the board and staff uh, to go to the monthly meetings, and that's why there was some confusion there. Uh, with that structure because it did have to be restructured for that. I was just curious with the yeah. price from last right. year to this year, so I'm happy to hear that they're not going to charge us if we're not. Yes, I, I agree. I mean, I don't want to rush anybody here. Does anybody have any further questions or comments or anything that you would further like to discuss? Mr. Navarro is looking sharp. He's got three-piece suit on over there. Brad Sporting. Brad Sporting is red. He's looking good. Miss Lindsay's always looking good. What do you got? What do you got to say about that? So there you go. All right. Hearing none, uh, we'll entertain a motion for adjournment before we adjourn. Next meeting will be the fourth Tuesday in February, and that date, in my estimation, would be the um, would be the twenty second. Is that correct? Or twenty third of February? Be the 23rd at 7 p.m. All right. LP's finest. Good there you go. Well, get you back 23rd. to get you back to real work, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 